they had okay, so they moved the ball, but you got there was, once they got in the red zone, you guys kind of bought down that kick field goals. I mean, what was there a common thread there? Or, you know, something that you guys were doing in particular once they got down there to stop them? We just we was manning up. Uh, yeah. You know, we, we'll give up field goals rather than touchdowns. I mean, we would rather give up nothing at all, but that's what we're gonna give. We're gonna give up, and that's something we've been thriving on. Nobody scores on us in the red zone, and we did pretty well today. Two for 15 on third downs. That's something y'all have really been struggling with. Yeah. It's been better the last two weeks. I mean, what's what's the difference there? Just putting, thriving on it in practice and tackling a lot better. As you can tell, um, we, everybody's flying around to the ball, football. So it's a lot of things that's really starting to get back in the rhythm and it's showing how we play now. Pass, the pass rush, I mean, it seems like it's been as consistent as it's been all year the last couple of weeks. I mean, how much does that help you guys? It, it, makes, it, it makes it a lot easier. All we know we got to cover maybe three or four seconds, and our pass is going to get back there and get some pressure on the quarterback and make a play for us. So we know those guys count on us to hold up, and we count on them to get back there. So it all goes hand in hand. You might have already answered this, but your red zone defense today, I mean, they had some opportunities where yeah. they could have tied the game or gone ahead. You guys held them to field goals. Was there a common thread in those? Just do not let them score. I mean, that was our mentality. You know, we, we don't even want to get down there in that type of position. And if they do, they come out with a field goal. So it's something we really thrived on and it showed today.